Artists near and far were in the spotlight here at the Roosevelt Ballroom located blocks from the revitalized Yonkers waterfront. Whether it's radio, television, um, um, a print, uh, whether they're actors, actresses, uh, publishers, you, you name it. If they're getting a message out through media, a medium of media, they're being honored. Among those recognized by founder and president of Total Faith Network, Dr. Cindy Ashley, was Nigerian-born filmmaker and Houston native Susan Wilketty, who recently released her latest film, As Long As I Am. So a lot of my stories, um, they're, uh, they're fiction, they're realistic fiction, but people can relate to them. If you know, uh, Tyler Perry is known for that. He's known for doing stories that people can relate to. And from the Bronx, recording artist Mickey J from Def Jam is a two-time Grammy nominee. When not creating, he gives back as a sponsor at St. Jimuel Daycare Center on Webb Avenue. It's a blessing that I can go out there and inspire other people, uplift and empower other people as well. And there were many, many more, including Tara Renee, who 20 years ago founded African American Women in Cinema. I felt so strongly to push, and it is my dream that this can be a legacy that is left for those who are coming up behind me. Our target is to try to teach our second and third generation African Americans born here who do not know back home the motherland. That's honoree David Oforu, co-founder of Pan-African Youth Leadership Academy. Meanwhile, Bronxite Donnell Dinkins was there to offer business services. But I uh, here um, representing Fix My Firm, which is uh, my, along with my partner, a uh, full service training, consulting and communications firm. This evening's celebration is not just about the honorees seated here, it's also about paying tribute to many who paved the way centuries ago. For Ronsnap, this is Arlene Makoko.